Hello, I'm LJ and welcome to Blogsprout. Today I'm going to show you how to create and add a Google Analytics tracking code to your website. So you're going to need to first create a Google Analytics account and then in order to add a property, you're going to go down in the corner to the admin page. And in the top, you're going to cl click this create account. Uh, the account name is Um, okay, and we're going to go through this setup process. New York time. Okay. And it's a small business industry is I want to measure data across devices. That's really what I'm most important. And now I'm going to accept the terms and conditions, read through them very quickly. Um, I've actually already read through them, so I know what I'm getting myself into. And now um, we have to import this, um, this tracking information into our, our actual website. So in Google Analytics, we're actually going to go to this data stream. So what we're doing is setting up a Google Analytics 4. So next year, universal, regular Google Analytics is going away. So everything's going to have to migrate to Google Analytics 4. So I encourage you to set up your sites using this to start because um, your Google Analytics GA4 is going away. So we're looking to set up data coming from the web. So the URL is www.constrictioncatalogs.com and is going to be construction catalogs and I'm going to click create stream all right so I have the web stream details created but I need to so behind my picture um, it says view tag instruction. So we have to find the tag to actually put it in our content. So below is the tag for this account. So what I need to do is I need to copy this text and then put it in my raw files in between my head tags of my theme. So how we're going to do this is we're going to go to our, um, our WordPress page. And once we log into our WordPress page, we're going to go to the actual code files and input this tag into our site. All right, so we are going into the WordPress dashboard right now. And what we are going to do is go to the appearance over here and theme file editor. So I have already copied the Google Analytics tracking code. And what this is just telling you is that anything, any changes you make could mess up your site. So you have to understand that's the case. Then what we're going to do is look over to the right and look for the header.php file. And then we're going to look for the tags that say head and that say head. So before, in between these two head files, I'm going to paste this. And now we have our Google tag inside our head um, site. And then I want to update the file. So if I go back to Google Analytics, I'm going to see if I can refresh the page and see if there's any, um, if there are any problems. So 
So I'm going to go to the home and I'm going to go to, all right, so now we see that it looks like the site is at least semi-active. So what I'd like to do is if we go to this, the way we can check the site is if we go to real time and we can see if this is in fact active by opening a new incognito tab and I'm going to go to the website. So now we have the website active and what we're looking for is this to become one. All right. And what we can see is that there was one user in the last 30 minutes. So it is in fact collecting data um, from my site. So once you have that code in, your Google Analytics is completely set up. So I hope this helped you understand how you can set up Google Analytics 4. And I will continue to walk you through some of the other basics on how to get a website up and running and check all the boxes throughout my whole process with this public case study. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm LJ and this is Blogs Route. Bye.